All right, Elite Code 3 here. Um, we're going to do a mail bin here. So let me just shift some things around. Uh, lots of stuff to get to. A few stacks off to the left here. So we'll start off with this. Uh, Peyton. So we got the 98 top scrum. Um, off the bat, you can see it's off-centered in the back there. I don't know what that is. That's like 85-15. So, um, front's beautifully centered. So, um, I don't know what we'll do with that one. This is beautiful. Haven't really seen this one pop up very often, but I did, I was able to snag this. So, the Brilliance Gold, it's actually numbered to 99. 31 of 99 there on the back. Um, for the Moss Registry, which is one of the only sets that I am ranked first in, which is pretty cool. So, Brilliance Gold, Randy. Um, here's an Antonio Flores, a Boston prospect. Pretty young kid. Um, he just turned 18, so lots of development time ahead of him. But that's the prospect. Chrome, uh, Bowman Chrome 18. Here's a Silver Prism or just a uh, Refractor, whatever you want to call it. Patrick Mahomes 17 Prism. Looks pretty clean. I'll have to check out the surface later. Crazy shine though on those. Uh, Philip Rivers. That's a base tops. You guys have seen that a lot lately in these these videos. Um, and then Fitzgerald, two thousand four tops. And I, I do have 500 cards ready for an order that I'm going to try to get out by Friday. Um, let me know in the comment section if, if you guys want to see a, a preview of this stuff being sent or if you just want to wait till it comes back, which could be like five months. Uh, Peterson Bowman Chrome. This is your base Bowman Chrome. Um, you can get these shipped anywhere from 6 to $9. So pretty, pretty low price for a future Hall of Fame tailback. Uh, basketball. This is a John Collins. The Hawks forward. It's, it's the uh, rock hard review, so I'll just take a scissors and cut it out and send it to PSA. Looks looks pretty good on the back. Uh, a couple of the same card. We'll just do, show up at the same time. There's a lot of a lot of stuff in this one. It's kind of been backed up for about a week. Um, so two of the same. we got the SP Game Use 2001 Breeze cards. One looks pretty beat up. The other I've, I haven't looked at too closely. The one on the left, I think, has just got beat up corners. So it's like a PSA 6 or 7. So uh, that's out of 500. Beautiful Breeze card there. Stadium Club Manning. I think these were all from the same guy. Yeah, it's a few Mannings and a Breeze. So we got the Stadium Club. Just uh, a big fan of base rookies. Skybox Thunder, 98 Manning. We got the Upper Deck Choice. Very, very low end. Pretty comparable to like score. And then we got the Rookies and Stars Breeze. Kind of like the baseball variation. Um, those are like 30 to 30 to 35. That's what the market on those. This card's really cool, and there I think PSA's changing their auto holders to all to red. I thought the blue looked cool, but 68 tops. Pete Rose signed, authenticated auto PSA DNA. Pretty cool. Nice bold signature on that. Um, I don't really care about getting like a grade for the auto for those as long as it's not like smudged really bad It's fine with me um, Here's a Kamara cracked ice That's a really sick card. It's just a bad investment to 25 uh, 2001 tops always check on this car because I've been sent the uh, the reprint probably f four or five times now and I think it's 2012 is the reprint and it's just the shade of the color is a little darker so don't let someone pull something over on you guys when you're buying that card I kind of wish they just wouldn't wouldn't do the reprints it, I mean the, the cards already happened just let it be uh, Bowman's best there's the Acuna those are about five to six bucks for the refractor this was actually a Beckett 9 that I snapped out because it's going to go to PSA. It's out of 400. It's the Bowman's Best 99, Ricky. 
Nice shine on that one. Here's a basketball card, um, Optic 18. And I think the quality control is pretty horrendous with this stuff on the back with scratches, so not a good job by Panini on those. But that's the bag they read out of 99. We've got some more rivers. we got the Bowman's Best. Love this card, 199. Uh, the front's got this weird foil thing going on, so I don't think they slab too well. Probably looking at like an 8 or 9. Just, I mean, they're always like chipped up on there. That's just kind of the way the cardstock is. It's kind of a set that would be tough to get 10s in. Um, this is really cool. You don't see these pop up much. And it's a black bordered card, and it looks pretty clean. Um, I would hope for an 8.5 on this. This is out of 150, but the Fitzgerald black, really cool. Looking fits. Uh, Steven Jackson, this was like a dollar shipped, first edition, just a random buy. Jared Kellenick. I think I think that's how you pronounce it, but he's on with the Mariners now. Uh, I'm thinking he'll start off in probably he's a high school kid, right? Probably low A, right? So Kellenick, a lot of potential. That's his his Bowman Chrome draft auto. We got the Peyton Manning in an old slab. This was like ten bucks. This was a steal. The upper deck choice. Um, PSA ten. Some more Manning. So there's a lot of Manning in, sneaking in. This this is the Pacific. This is a really tough set. I would probably hope for a PSA nine. I would I would send in. This is the momentum. It's kind of sitting weird in that holder. Okay, this is for the Pete Rose re registry that I was talking about, I think the last time I did a mail video. So this will be added in for the 70 slot, a nice solid PSA 8, so beautifully, beautiful card. Um, I am doing pretty good on the Pete Rose set. I mean, I'm ranked like 50th, but it's not always about being the top of the ranks. you got to just enjoy your own collection. Um, I just got to add probably about 10 more couple of these we got the upper deck vintage breeze these are anywhere from 7 to 15 if you, if you need one check ebay they're, they're always popping up in auction okay this is the leaf limited phenoms to 150 this is uh, 2004 nice looking card got a nice patch in there too looks like a three color and then we got a two color Philip Rivers Hot Prospects to 350. That's nice. I think that was about 70. And then the the limiter was about 90. So he's he's kind of a player that I just like the way his stats are racking up. And he's a guy that, you know, if he could get a Super Bowl late in his career, it could surge his card. So I just kind of like him as a buy. Um, Breeze. So this was went cheaper than usual, which isn't cheap at all. It was like 420 bucks, but they have been going closer to like 800 and 900. It's got like an edge thing, and the guy listed it as uh, EX. But I, I honestly think it could probably get a seven or seven five. So I'm gonna send this in and see what happens with it. It's the uh, SPX Gold to 250. It's a great card. Uh, Roethlisberger score PSA nine, just a cheap one. For the collection on him Th this was purchased in a lot uh travis swaggerty he's one of the pirates top prospects first round pick college kid so we got the refractor to 499 right there with the shine and then your base so something i have noticed with 2018 bowman chrome draft is scratching on the surface is very prevalent so um tops chrome update is fantastic in regards to minimal scratching but from whatever reason Bowman Chrome drafts pretty bad um top scroll on Fitzgerald this is just a fantastic card I, I, and I don't mind buying nines for 45 bucks when it's close to 200 for a 10 I'll just take a nice nine there, there's a lot of times in the hobby when you're just better off taking a nine uh, I'm not gonna flip through all these but 
these are going to the store under a variation listing. Just thought it was a good deal for like 15 bucks. It's 57 Bowman Chrome Draft Refractor. So I'll have to flip through those later and then put them into the store for somebody to, to buy. It's kind of how I build up my stock sometimes. I just buy some lots. Uh, Upper Deck Victory Breeze. This is a uh, PSA 10. Been slabbed a while. And that one's not centered 50-50. I think that's close to 60-40. So that one got a... Uh, Lenient grade, in my opinion. Heritage, 1956. L love this one. Uh, these usually sit around 60 bucks, but it, it's a cool image. It's numbered. It stops Heritage. It's a neat card. Uh, another one of these, the Bowman Chromes. Just, I mean, I I have to pick those up when they're like five five bucks plus shipping. This is cool. So. Around 97, 98, the Upper Deck game jersey became a uh, huge hit in the hobby, and the cards were selling for uh, insane amounts. And, uh, you know, this card was like 20 bucks, but I just think it's a cool card because it's the Upper Deck game jersey, and it's autographed. And it's it's a back that's not going to get into the Hall of Fame, but I think he had over 100, close to 100 career rushing touchdowns, which is pretty fantastic. So Sean Alexander, you guys know me by now. I've, I have a soft spot for tailbacks. Um, here's a Vic. So is this the first one? That's a Bowman Chrome Crazy Shine, 1999. We're actually working through this stack pretty fast. Um, definitely love this one, and the price I got it for was around a hundred. Can't really beat it. I think it's got some scratching on it. That's why it went lower. Um, but the last ones were going for like 350 to 400 so i don't know what happened with this one it kind of fell through the cracks i think but i'll definitely take it that's the uh oh that's the ruby the 125 star ruby i think that's what they call that from premium uh draft draft picks and prospects peterson to 100 very condition sensitive this will be slab though just to have it slab um probably like an eight or something now, this is a huge card in a 10. Um, this isn't a 10. <laughs> They're almost impossible to come by because of the black borders, but I think 10s go for about 350, and then raw's about 20, so that just shows you the markup you can get with that. Uh, upper deck game gear, it's kind of wedged in between two top layers. I don't like this shipping method, but I'm not going to whine about it either, even though I just did whine. Upper deck game gear LT, that's like 20 bucks. That's a good buy for that price. You've got Showcase Philip Rivers. Um, this is the base to five ninety nine. There is a legacy to one twenty five of this card, but the base has a nice look to it. This was a lot, so I think both of these were about twenty bucks. These are the ultimate rookie jerseys to one ninety nine. Of uh, you guessed it, Rivers. It's just been like a stock up the past two months. Um, Edge, love this Showcase. I actually pulled this as a kid. I've probably said that like 50 times on my channel throughout the years, but it's actually one of my favorite pulls because at the time it was like a $200 card. Now you can get it for 10 to 15. That that'd be a good card for uh, bulls and bears. Here's a Fitzgerald tops. This is a base tops. We saw that earlier, I believe. Um, so here's an SP game used of Rivers. That's 4.25, and then a couple of Bowman Chrome drafts. So we got Tanner Dotson. Don't know a ton about him, a second round pick, um, but that's the Blue Wave to 149. It was cheap. It was like nine bucks, and then Casey Mize, who most people know, was the first pick. His face is covered up. Let me try to get this painter's tape off. It's peeling weird. There we go. Um, Casey Mice, so probably scratched to hell too. Prospect Auto, that was about thirty-five. So these have a print run of two ten. I read. I don't. I thought they were numbered on the back, but they're uncirculated. I think they just came at the top of your hobby box. But this is the Rivers one. It was about thirty or forty bucks. So it wasn't cheap. Um, let's keep going. We got about ten left. Uh, Bowman Chrome Peyton. Love the card. It's in one of these weird looking cases. These are the odd, the oddest cases. 
Um, upper deck MVP Drew. Love the low end Drews. It's nice picking these up for ten bucks. We got a, a Royals card. Um, this is our first base pro prospect, Nick Prado. We'll kind of see. I think he's going to start in high A. But this would be a uh, second year card. He's in 17 Bowman Chrome draft. Uh, LT. This is in like every video. The uh, mandatory LT tops base. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the Peterson in a nine. We saw two of the Raws, and here's a nine of that one. Nice card. Um, Breeze Base Tops. This is the second one of the video, I believe. Star Rookie Limited of Philip. Oh, I'm going to show something over here real quick before the video is up. So I've been getting in a bunch of uh, hobby boxes too. So this is 85 tops. I'm going to do that one on camera. 86 Donruss. 91 tops. We got, that's another 91 tops. That's 84 tops. I'm, it's 84, right? Um, yeah, I think I got it right. And then that's 90 Donruss. I probably won't film that one, but I'm going to do some more of these uh, retro wax rips soon. So it's fun get, trying to get those for decent deals, and then we'll break those on camera and look for slab cans. It's just a lot of things you can do in the hobby to have fun. Uh, 71 tops and a 7, Pete Rose. That's for the registry. Um, with this black border and the, the prices on these, it's not centered very well, but it is a 7. So I'll, I'll throw that one in the, into the registry. And then the last card of the this bin is a Holt on card from 1999 Spa. Uh, that, that's the player's ink, so... That's it, guys. Uh, I enjoyed this, this doing this video. I'll get this one filmed and look forward to some uh, retro wax rips this week. Later.